Hi. Uh, have you ever wondered whether you could hook up a magnetic uh, card reader to your uh, venerable TI-9948 computer? Well, after some research, um, I have found that this is certainly a feasible project, given that um, the magnetic strip readers are cheaply available in surplus electronic stores and um, are easily hooked up, as it turns out, to the computer. I have obtained this particular reader from an internet uh, electronic store called bgmicro.com and it's a basic TTL reader with two separate reading heads and you can see that here there's one head there's the other um, that both read track two of a uh, particular credit card um, credit cards typically have a three card a three tracks um, the first track has an account number, an account holder's name, and some bank information as well as um, an expiration date and an encrypted PIN. Track 2, uh, which has a lower density of data, uh, only has an account number and an expiration date. This particular reader then will only read track 2. However, you can swipe the card uh, this way or this way. It does not matter because um, you have one reading head on each side. So it doesn't matter which swipe uh, which way you swipe your card. Hooking up this uh, strip reader is fairly simple. There are three uh, important uh, connections that need to be made in addition to a power supply and that is one is a uh, data present um, line uh, which indicates that a credit card is actually present in the reader. The, uh, the Another one is a uh, clock signal line which indicates whether the clock is high or low and finally a data line which basically will tell us what kind of data we're reading and it's a zero or a one. So essentially we need three bits of data um, in order to be able to collect information from the card. Knowing that um, I decided to connect the reader to the joystick port of the TI-994A um, basically, the uh, three bits of uh, information that we need, um, each bit will be connected to a uh, joystick port line. Um, here, in this case, I chose the joystick right, joystick left, and the fire button lines in order to trap the information and process it. I have also added a, a switch to the reader in order to tell me whether power is on or off with a simple LED um, as an indicator. So now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the data capture from the card. Uh, in order to do that I wrote a uh, small assembly language program uh, which pulls the joystick ports and captures the data from the card reader. We'll first turn on the make sure the reader is on and I'll go ahead and get the program started which is uh, currently residing on DSK7 and it's called the next strip and now basically we have a blank screen the program is waiting for the um, card to be swiped so we'll go ahead and swipe the card um, we'll make sure that the magnetic strip on the card is facing the head that we're going to use, which is head 2 in this case. And we go ahead and swipe. And here we go. We got uh, the information on the screen. We got the credit card number, expiration year, and expiration month. Um, just for information, this uh, account is actually canceled, so don't get any ideas. And there you go. This is uh, a demonstration of the uh, magnetic strip card reader on the TI-99 for it.